All right, hey guys. Um, got a question about a max uh, discharge for Kong Elite Max batteries. I don't have the Kong Elite Max batteries, but I have the Kong Elite. I believe the maxes are 19 kilowatts, maybe 17, but mine are 15 kilowatts. So right now I'm only drawing from, it's 1055 here, so I'm drawing from battery only right now on a partial load of 400 watts. It's it's just my heat pump, which is running on the heat pump uh, hot water tank. My furnace and a couple other items uh, are on suite and our sewer and our septic and well pump. So I'm going to go to charge controller here and uh, show you some of the settings that I have. Uh, a lot of I know I've noticed that a lot of folks don't share their settings um, to what's going, uh, how they've configured their systems. So I am running off grid only and I have the 100 600 uh, Schneider system so I'm just overviewing here what's um, what's going on so voltage is dropping of course because the Sun is gone uh, outputs 52.4 and 21.3 on the battery temperature and that's through the supplied battery temperature sensor that came with the charge controllers uh, here's my usage I'll go through a couple different scenarios 2.3 kilowatts and I'm running 20 panels right now on a tiltable array set at 37 degrees at the 53rd parallel uh, right here I have uh, I was reconfiguring the system and next day I had to charge up so I pulled in nice power 30 kilowatts in the day uh, monthly uh, I turn off the uh, green bar here in a sec because you don't DC and DC out. I just want to show what power is coming in. So, uh, March was good, 350. And, uh, and again, I've been playing with the system, so the numbers aren't actually what it's going to create. Um, but my end goal is uh, 60 panels. So, I'm going to have right now, this is only 20 panels, uh, 8,500 watts per array. Um, okay, so now we're going to go into settings. Advanced gives you more viewings if you don't know the system let you see a lot more settings without advance. It's fairly, it's basic, but it's still more than enough for most people. So I get 57.9 set for bulk, float, and absorb. That is the recommended. I do not run equalization support. You don't do that with lithium ion batteries. And my recharge is fit set to 50.5 volts. Um, and the system right now, it actually recharges even when it doesn't hit 50.5. As soon as the sun is up, it's charging the system back up. On the charge controller, you run three stage. On the inverter, you only run two stage with lithium ions. My maximum charge rate is 90 amps, and this device is 100 amps out. Um, so I turned it down to 90%, which is 90 amps. Equalization now, you don't use, it's disabled. Battery temperature, okay, it, it thinks the room is 25 degrees. So there is no adjusting that to cool, warm, or hot. The battery setting is very basic. It's a 48 volt system. I have three Kong elites, that's 900 amps, and you don't use battery temperature coefficient you turn it to zero because of the lithium ions you only use that with like flooded lead acids and stuff like that and AGMs so charge controller settings pretty simple pretty pretty straightforward uh, PV settings okay it just the reference voltage changes on its own and all the settings are you know no force charge state um, I don't need to use it uh, it's all programmed to run the way it's supposed to let's go to the inverter this is a weird screen because I've, I've recorded my screen a little too narrow, so I'm trying to figure out how to get into it now. <laughs> um, there we go, I just click here, and boom, now we're in. So this is the XW Pro 6848. It's all updated to the most recent versions. Um, power coming in, 118.7, 8 8.1 amps out, 425 watt, 4 watts. Um, and then we go down to the load draw. I got AC voltage load at 2737. Load current is 1.7 amps. Like, you know, I'm barely loading the system. Um, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. It's not. It's uh, 2.5 on one leg and 1.6 on the other leg. Um, this is mixed up at just below where it says enabled on the green badge for grid peak load shape. That should be aligned with backup mode. So it's just aligned them improperly. Um, so that's not correct. Enabled is backup mode. I don't have the charger enabled because I'm not connected to the grid and I'm not bringing power in from the AC, from the utility. All I'm running is a, it's a split phase 
uh, standalone system right now because I'm only running one of my inverters. Uh, I will have three XW Pros hooked up and three 100-600 charge controllers. So let's hop over into charge control, charger settings and advanced. Uh, again, I'm not recharging from the inverter yet. 50 volts is where I would have a kick in because I want the charge controller to charge first from solar. There's not much else to see, um, but that's where you adjust time of use for charging your batteries. Custom battery, you go two stage in here because um, you're not gonna run float from the grid unless you wanna float your batteries, which you don't do from the utility. State of charge is disabled because I don't have smart battery. Um, they are just elect uh, voltage regulated, not state of charge regulated. Battery capacity, 900 amps, the same. The charge rate is set to 64% because these inverters have the ability to pump out 140 amps of charging, which 64% of 140 is 90 amps, 89.98 uh, or something like that. So I don't want to overcharge my batteries with too much energy. Um, so it's not amperage based, which is odd. I think that's a little weird. It shouldn't be, shouldn't be percentage based, but it is. Um, absorption time, 360, that's standard. Uh, I don't run equalization support. We don't do that. They will self-balance themselves. The BMS in these batteries is smart. Uh, they have a passive and an active BMS, which is pretty cool. Bulk absorption is also both set to 57.9 because I don't want to ever hit when they finish bulk charge, it jumps up to like 58.86 or 82, um, something like that. And it, that the peak voltage in is 58.8 uh, that you want. So I never push the limit of the batteries. Battery temperature is zero again, and then maximum discharge current. For these batteries, for my Congolese, is 350. I think the maxes are the same. So you want to set it at 350 amps, and that allows six seconds and that's the uh, max discharge time interval right below that. That's a lot of power. Your wires get warm, warm, 30 degrees, 28 degrees, when they're pumping 90, 100 amps in or out, uh, coming from the batteries to your uh, <clears throat> combiner, battery connect, PDP, whatever you're, however you're tying your system together. So that's the maximum discharge. Um, but the normal max limit discharge that you can run continuously is 150 amps. So I would assume the battery cables would get like 35, 40 degrees, which is fine. You know, these things are designed to handle 90 degrees. They're, they're good. Um, yeah, so there's your maximum discharge current. Uh, if you don't have the documentation, I can get you the links for it. Uh, go to bigbattery.com, not bigbattery.ca, because they just have a little bit more information on everything. Um, I don't run state to charge, so all that down there doesn't matter. The cutouts, I just went with what the battery and documentation says. And then all this other stuff we don't have to look at yet because I don't have any of it set up. Um, I'm not tight grid, I'm not running a generator, uh, I'm not a multi-unit. Power control settings, be very careful what you start to tinker with if you start going into some of this stuff because you can kill someone or you can mess up your system. <laughs> um, I think that's everything I can show you guys. Yeah, that is it. All right, have a good one.